Hi everybody, welcome to you on the channel of Refat Hatter for Poultry Extension. Today, I am going to talk about an important disease affects the chicks, causing huge economic losses. This disease is Gamboro disease, which is considered one of the most dangerous diseases because it destroys the immunity system of the chicks at the early four weeks of age. This disease was called Gamboro disease because it was first observed on farms in the neighborhood of Gamboro in USA in 1957. It was called infectious bursa disease because it affects the bursa of Fabricius, local bursa of chickens. This virus affects the chicks at the age of three to eight weeks. In this age, the bursa of Fabricius is growing rapidly and very active. This virus doesn't cause high mortality, but it affects the bursa of Fabricius, which builds the chick's immunity in the first weeks of age, causing immunity inhibition of the chick. Therefore, bacterial disease and viral disease such as Newcastle and IB can affect the chick easily. Etiology. This disease is caused by a Berna virus, which affect Fabricius follicle, causing the generation and necrosis of lymphocytes, B cells, which form the immunity of BERT. This virus is very stable. It survived at 60 degrees centigrade for three minutes, but 70 degrees centigrade killed it. Also, this virus is unaffected by pH2, but it's sensitive to formalin and iodine compounds. Incubation period. It's very short and the clinical signs of the disease appear after two to three days post-infection. Clinical signs. The clinical signs appear suddenly. The affected chicks are listless, anorexia, ruffled feathers, and depression. The affected chicks have watery, whitish or yellowish diarrhea, which with vent feathers, and some pairs pick at their own fence. Some affected chicks suffer from severe prostration, trembling, and finally this. This period is from four to six days. The affected pairs are 10 to 20 percent, but mortality from 1 to 15 percent according to birth cells and parental immunity. Mortality ratio is characterized to the disease. It's high in the first three days. It arrives to the top in the third day, then reduce in the fourth day, then become normal in the fifth day. Gross lesions. Darken discoloration of pectoral muscles. Hemorrhagic spots are in the thigh and pectoral and separated line between proventriculus and the gizzard body. 2. Swollen and pale kidneys with the ureters distended with white uric acid crystals. 3. After 3 days post infection, the bursa begins to increase in size and weight until it doubles its size and weight by the fourth day. Then it returns to normal weight by the fifth day. Then the bursa continues to, at to atrophy until it arrives to serve its normal weight by the eighth day. By the second day or third day post infection, the bursa has a gelatinous yellowish transudate covering the cerosal surface of brachial follicles. Then its color turns to cream color. Then this transudate disappears as the bursa returns to its normal size. Prevention We must carry out strictly the procedures of biosecurity for decreasing the risk of contamination. We must vaccinate the flock of chicks with Gamboro live vaccine and the young chicks or dead vaccine in the replacement of flocks before sexual maturity to give good parental immunity to hatched the chicks for protecting them during the first four weeks of age. 
Breuer's vaccinating program. If the chicks were from parents vaccinating with dead vaccine, we must vaccinate the chicks with live vaccine at the age of three weeks. If the chicks were from parents not vaccinated with dead vaccine, we must vaccinate the chicks with live vaccine during the first week. If the parental immunity in hatched chicks is not known exactly, we can follow one of these vaccinating programs according to the epidemical degree of the disease in the farm area. One, vaccinating with IBDL vaccine at the age of 12 to 14 days in drinking water only if the farm was isolated and far from infection sources. Two, or vaccinating with IBDL vaccine at the age of 11 to 12 days in drinking water, then another dose with D78 at the age of 22 to 24 days in the area which has various sources of infection. Or vaccinating with dead Gamboru vaccine intramuscular injection at the age of 10 to 11 days, then vaccinating with IBDL vaccine at the age of 13 to 14 days in the area which has various sources of infection. Vaccinating program of replacement frogs of layers. At the age of 7 to 8 days, vaccinating with IBD plus ND plus IB dead vaccine injection. At the age of 13 to 14 days, vaccinating with IBDL vaccine and drinking water. At the age of 22 to 24 days, vaccinating with the 78 vaccine and drinking water. Vaccinating program of replacement flocks of breeders. As the same previous program plus vaccinating with the Gamboru vaccine at the age of 18 to 20 weeks for giving strong parental immunity to hatched the chicks. The treatment. There is no treatment for the affected pairs, but it's useful giving the affected chicks the following medicines. One, vitamin K3, five milligrams per pair to minimize hemorrhage. Two, vitamin E plus selenium to stimulate the immunity of the chicks. Three, suitable antibiotic, don't have bad effect on kidneys plus vitamin AD3E in case of secondary bacterial infection or any diuretic to reduce the bad effect of disease on kidneys. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. If you have any inquiries related to this video, please comment and I reply with suitable answer.